Hello friends, this is Homer Knox of MenTeachingMen.com. In this video, we're going to be studying a wonderful man of God, Barnabas, son of encouragement. Barnabas, God's man, at the right place for the right time. The New American Standard and King James Version Bibles will mainly be used for a scripture translation in this video. Barnabas. Who was this guy and why are we studying him? The name Barnabas is defined son of consolation. His real name was Joseph. Joseph in Hebrew means he will add or increase. He was a first century missionary companion of the Apostle Paul, an uncle of John Mark, who was the writer of the Gospel of Mark. Barnabas' name appears approximately 28 times in the New Testament. Acts 4.36 Barnabas, an early disciple of Christ. Now Joseph, born of Jewish parents, a Levite of Cyrian birth, who was also called Barnabas by the apostles. Barnabas The name given him by the apostle means son of consolation, encouragement, son of exhortation, or son of comfort. These names give us an excellent view of Barnabas' character. How wonderful to be dedicated to the service of Jesus and the church, and to have the church leadership rename you for your actions with such a wonderful name. born and raised in Cyprus. This will allow Barnabas to have a different outlook on life than the Jerusalem apostles. Different culture, possibly more open-minded. Cyprus. Acts 11.24 For he, Barnabas, was a good man and full of the Holy Spirit and faith. Possibility that Barnabas was the rich young ruler. Matthew 1916 to 22 and someone came to him and said teacher what good thing shall I do that I may obtain eternal life but if you wish to enter into life keep the commandments the young man said to him all these things I have kept what am I still lacking Jesus said to him if you wish to be complete go and sell your possessions and give to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven, and come, follow me. But when the young man heard this statement, he went away grieving, for he was one who owned much property. Did this inability to leave all his possessions cost Barnabas a chance at being chosen one of the twelve apostles? Barnabas supported the local church. Acts 4.36-37 Now Joseph, who owned a tract of land, sold it and brought the money and laid it at the apostles' feet. Barnabas introduces the new Christian, Saul, later named Paul, to the apostles in Jerusalem. 
Acts 9.26-27. When he came to Jerusalem, he, Paul, was trying to associate with the disciples, but they were all afraid of him, not believing he was a disciple. But Barnabas took hold of him, Paul, and brought him to the apostles and described to them how he had seen the Lord on the road and that he had talked to him and how at Damascus he had spoken out boldly in the name of Jesus. Barnabas and Paul possibly had been companions as students in the school of Gemalia. The Church at Antioch The growth of the church at Antioch led the apostles and brethren at Jerusalem to send Barnabas to coordinate the church increase. Acts 11.22 And they, the church in Jerusalem, send Barnabas to Antioch. Acts 13.1 Barnabas named as a prophet or teacher. Now there were at Antioch, in the church that was there, prophets and teachers, Barnabas. Barnabas found the work and growth so explosive that he went to Tarsus in search of Saul, called Paul, to assist him. God is good. Acts 11.25-26 And he left for Tarsus to look for Saul, and when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. And for an entire year they met with the church and taught considerable numbers. And the disciples were first called Christians at Antioch. Why were the disciples in Antioch called Christians? because they modeled their lives after Jesus Christ. How did the Apostle Paul and Barnabas support themselves while ministering? They worked. First Corinthians 9.6 Apostle Paul is speaking. Or do only Barnabas and I not have a right to refrain from working for a living? Barnabas and Paul had integrity. They were selected to send an offering to the Jerusalem church from the Antioch church in anticipation of a worldwide famine. A person has to be considered faithful for others to send money with them. Acts 11.30 And this they did, sending it in charge of Barnabas, and Saul to the elders of Judea. Barnabas and Paul, set apart by the Holy Spirit for ministry. Missionaries to the heathen world. Acts 13, 2-3 while they were ministering to the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then when they had fasted and prayed and laid their hands on them, they sent them away.
first missionary journey, Barnabas and Saul bring John Mark, Barnabas' cousin, with them. They visited Cyprus, Barnabas' home, and some of the principal cities of Asia Minor. Acts 13.5 They began to proclaim the word of God in the synagogues of the Jews, and they also had John, Mark, as their helper. The Jews rebelled against the word of God and Paul's preaching. Acts 13.46 Paul and Barnabas spoke out boldly and said, It was necessary that the word of God be spoken to you first, since you repudiate it and judge yourself unworthy of eternal life. Behold, we are turning to the Gentiles. 2 Timothy 3.12 Indeed, all who desire to live godly in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. Acts 15.1 Some men came down from Judea and began teaching the brethren, Unless you are circumcised according to the custom of Moses, you cannot be saved. Acts chapter 15 Returning to Antioch from their first missionary journey, they were again sent up to Jerusalem to consult with the church regarding the relationship of the Gentiles to the church. This matter having been settled, they returned again from Jerusalem to Antioch, bringing the decree of the council, the rule by which Gentiles were to be admitted into the church. Barnabas and Paul Second Missionary Journey Acts 15, 36-37 After some days, Paul said to Barnabas, Let us return and visit the brethren in every city in which we proclaim the word of the Lord, and see how they are. Barnabas wanted to take John, called Mark, along with them also. Acts 15, 38 But Paul kept insisting that they should not take him along, John Mark, who had deserted them and had not gone with them to the work. Acts 15.39 And there occurred such a sharp disagreement that they separated from one another. And Barnabas took Mark with him and sailed away to Cyprus, but Paul chose Silas and left. Here the scripture mention of Barnabas ceases. Tradition indicates Barnabas was martyred by either stoning or burning. Conclusion, Life of Barnabas An early disciple of Jesus Christ. born and raised in Cyprus. Good man, full of the Holy Spirit and faith. Supporter of the local church. Intercedes with the apostles for Paul. Possibly studied with Paul. Life of Barnabas continued. Missionary to Antioch. A prophet and or teacher set apart for ministry. Willing to share his ministry. Supported his ministry by working suffered persecution, forgiving of John Mark, 
Thank you, Jesus, for the wonderful example to us set by your servant, Barnabas. Thanks so much for watching. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to the Men Teaching Men YouTube channel. This video is dedicated to the honor of Pastors Phil and Gerald Durstein, Christian Retreat, Bradenton, Florida. Hello friends, this is Homer Knox again. I hope you enjoyed this video teaching. The question I have for you is, are you born again? Do you know Jesus as your personal Savior? If not, why not? Why not? Jesus was born of a virgin. He lived a sinless life. He suffered and died under Pontius Pilate and the Romans. He was buried and he rose from the dead on the third day. He's now ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. There is salvation in no one else, no one else. And so if this has stirred your heart and you would like to receive Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, please pray with me. Dear Jesus, please come into my heart. Forgive me of all my sins, all my sins by your precious blood. I accept you as my personal Savior. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for cleansing me. Thank you for my home in heaven. Thank you for giving me the Holy Spirit and making me a new creature. Amen and amen. Well, if you prayed that prayer from your heart, you're now born again. You're a Christian. Welcome. Welcome to the family. If you prayed this prayer after slipping away, you're now part of the family. You're back in the fold. Welcome. Congratulations. There's another teaching on the menteachingmen.com website entitled, I Just Got Saved. And that video will help you with your new walk in Jesus Christ. God bless you. God bless you. Amen.